Captain's log. <laughs> That's what I'm calling all these blogs. Uh, hey, everyone. It's uh, obviously Alexis again from the Row Fools, and yeah. Um, well, this might be a little short blog. I've already given an update on everything that I was going to do. Oh, yeah, I got a haircut. Yeah, from yesterday's video, you can see that my hair is all, like, big and poofy, you know? It, it's so annoying when it gets like that because, to tell you the truth, my hair grows fast. Like, yes, my hand wants to be in it. Uh, but, yeah, my hair grow, tends to grow really fast and, uh... Just can't help it. Um, but yeah, um, uh, you see that? Um, those are the, some of the last remaining Legos I have. Technically, like, I had, um, a vast number of Legos. I can't really count, count them, but I had a lot of them. And when today I, when I got my hair cut, you know, I didn't go anywhere, like, my mom's friend cuts hair, and... They get along well enough. Uh, she came over here and she cut my hair. Not for free. I had to pay. But uh, what happened is that um, my sister had previously told me that, you know, if I could give, since I didn't really use my Legos anymore, if I could just give my Legos to her boyfriend's brother, who's like, you know, probably 10 or so. And at first I was ignoring it, but then, you know, I'm just like, I guess I could give them away. Technically, I would have, like, a, what do you call it, like, um, um, red towel. Uh, but uh, I would have, like, a, more than $100 worth of Legos in value because of the minifigures. You know, it, it's sort of ridiculous at times because I went to the store and, uh, yeah. Uh, notes. Ah, uh, no, there's no notes. Uh, but, um, I went to that store. Freaking minifigures. Let me show you. Freaking minifigures about this big. Yeah. They were like $15 for one of those. For like the much more rare ones, like Darth Vader or Anakin Skywalker or Batman. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm gonna pay fifteen dollars for Batman. I almost did once. Um, crazy story. Um, once I. This is basically the reason why I don't use eBay. I only use Amazon to buy things online. Um, well, the reason I don't use eBay is because, well, one, I can't find any gift cards. And the reason why I use gift cards instead of credit cards is because um, any time that I want to buy anything on eBay, I would have to like um, ask my mom or my brother if I could use their credit card for that. I would pay them back, of course. <laughs> um, I'm not lying, I would. But um, what happened is that... Uh, you know, I'm, you know how you bid on everything on eBay. But yeah, it's one reason because I couldn't always convince them to do so even though I won something on eBay. So I couldn't pay for the things on time. So I couldn't get the item. And also many times, you know, I started using eBay. They wanted to use eBay to look for things like, um, like pool table or something. They really wanted a pool table. And they actually won the item with, with the bidding. Or, um, um, it wasn't, um, it wasn't the pool table, uh, but they did look for a pool table. They won something else, but they never got to pay for it. So I have to keep getting these annoying, um, messages on my eBay account, on my Gmail, I kept getting them, and they kept telling me, Oh, you need to pay for this item. This item needs to be paid. Uh, yeah, it was so annoying. Like, literally. Okay, no spinning. But in reality, yes, it was so annoying. But that's how they felt about it. And I felt about it as well like that. Well, because basically... I couldn't pay for the stuff, and 
for one point. That happened so many times. Basically, I never bought anything on eBay. I won the things that were for bid, but I never got to pay for them, so they banned my account. Or they didn't ban it, but they suspended my account, and I couldn't buy anything if I wanted to, even if I had money. Afterwards, I just forgot about it and just like, um, and potatoes. Uh, but, uh, I forgot about it and, you know, then I tried my, I got an email, was checking it, not recently, like a long time ago, and it said, oh, your account is back, blah, 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 and, yeah. But what happened before that, before the susp suspension, of course, one major thing. As I was talking about minifigures. Okay, I didn't pick my nose. Don't say I picked my nose. You guys know who my friends who are watching who actually watch this. Because there's no subscribers that watch us. Why don't you watch us? <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, potatoes again. Uh, but true story. I was watching this bit, uh, I was really into collecting Lego minifigures. Don't judge me, Russian. Um, but I was really into collecting them, you know. Kind of played with them sometimes, I admit it. Uh, but I was really into them, and I wanted to buy this Lego Joker minifigure. I really wanted the Batman minifigures, and, um, uh, what happened is that, you know, I was winning at first, it's like, um, probably a cent for it. I put like a 50 cent or a dollar bid on it. I was like, yeah, I'm winning, you know, I waited for a while, the bidding was gonna end soon enough. <laughs> and then somebody else raised the bidding, so I had to put more money in it. And, you know, like about a dollar or so, I was in the lead again. Then it happened again, and again, and again. So, it was probably like about $8 or so, and uh, then what happened is that I, you know, I, I kept, it was, it happened throughout the day, you know, I really wanted to keep this up, and my, and my computer, or the laptop I use, I used to use a lot, um, was being used by my other brothers who were looking. Uh, probably soccer stuff, uh, because they're really into soccer, and then, I just took my brother's phone, I didn't have a phone at the time, I still don't, I'm just used my dad's spare phone that he has, um, as I said, I barely got a job, and I believe in paying for my own things, and, yeah, like, phone service, I would pay for my own things, rather than having it, someone pay for me, yeah, I'm that kind of person, uh, anyway, um, I used this phone, Logged into my eBay account. Probably struggles a few times because I tend to do that. I hate it. But, um, I really hated that phone because I placed the bidding for adding $4 to it, which would probably make about $12 or $8 in total. Or increase. No, no, no. The bed was about $4 at the time. When I placed a bet, it was four dollars, and the stupid phone placed a bid for forty-five dollars for a freaking minifigure, and it's not even that rare. I mean, they brought the series back. I know I sound like some sort of fanboy, or some some man child or something, talking about Legos. I know. But that was just a bullshit moment when I was collecting them because they placed a $45 bet on a one minifigure. No weapons. Not, like nothing special about it. Just a Joker minifigure that I was going to collect or that I wanted to buy. I meant to place $4 and it put $45. I know. That's outrageous. Like, like seriously, I was like, what the hell? I know you can't probably see my face because of the light is shining on me. Um, um, 
<laughs> Let's change the conversation. I was eating these uh, peanuts. Um, uh, you can probably read them because they're backwards right now, but um, let's see. Eh, there we go. Yeah, I was eating these. Oh, damn it. Yeah. Does it matter? I don't think so. But yeah, I was eating them. I wanted to show you guys uh, whatever. Ah, uh, there's my ID. Casino Realm. Yeah. Also, during school time, you know, this is funny. You know, I had this teacher, uh, my French teacher, and you know, sometimes we would not have much to do in our class, and we would finish our work on time, and we have a lot of time for class or anything, like after class, and she would put on a movie, usually there were freaking Disney movies, the animated ones, and I don't like them, like the ones with the princesses and all that, like, uh, uh, Ah, I'm a ghost. Shaisha, you can't even see me because I'm so white. Um, okay, this is better. Um, ah, my phone's telling me, uh, well, the phone's telling me low battery. So I'll finish this quickly. Oh my god, 11 minutes. I've been talking for that long. But, um, I'll finish this quick. Um, I was, um, you know, so I really wanted to, like, tell, hey, how about we watch a Bond movie? I would sometimes bring a Bond movie, you know, just to show it off, because um, cause I'm a big fan of James Bond. I am collected all the movies. I'll show you guys another video about this, the ones who actually watch. Ah, but, um, she would always say no. Like, seriously, we would always have to watch those stupid Disney movies whenever we had time or something. And the thing is, nobody would pay attention to them. We would just like walk, like sit there, and just like some people would play cards and other people would talk, and uh, yeah, I mean James Bond, it, it's a pretty good series. I'm certainly oh, crap, I got shot like this. Um, but yeah, any time, I would ask her, you know, politely say, hey. Can we watch this movie or something? We have a lot of time or so. So say, ah, eh, no. Like, sometimes like that, I just, no. One time I even asked her, like, hey, can we use my Netflix account? No, but you would actually, if you knew her, then yeah, you would understand about that. Um, th I, right now I sound like some sort of spoiled student, just like, hey, man, fuck this. I shoot all of that. I'm not that side of, sort, of, sort of person. I actually do hate those sort of people. But, um, the teacher was just, you know, kind of stubborn. Really. I mean, we would have enough time, and she would put a movie that nobody was really watching. So, I even told her one time, hey, we could watch it in French, and she would always put a movie, or whenever she would watch a movie, she would translate it into French. So, I'm like, hey, it's translating into French, you can at least do that. And she's like, no. I'm like, what the hell? You would rather have us watch this boring thing than... Yeah. I know I'm not dissing any fans who actually like those movies, but, you know, just dissing her about that sort of stuff, you know. I didn't hate her or anything, just... Whenever we had that, I mean, she was already some somewhat of a... Not that good of a teacher, but, um... She's really... Um, but, uh... Yes, philosophy. <laughs> but, um, yeah, just... That's the basis of it. Um, I even told her recently, you know, Mr. Bean's uh, Holidays, if anybody's seen that, you gotta see it if you haven't. I am serious, you got, you have to see that movie. It, it's funny. Um, but she wouldn't even do that, and it took place in France. There was Fran French people in there that were speaking French and everything, I'm like, hey, it's French class, maybe we could watch it. But no, it's a funny movie. It's like, what the hell? Um, so yeah. Anybody like uh, the new Batman game that's coming out? I know I want to get that. And I'm also going to get the new Assassin's Creed 4. Yeah, awesome, dude. I really want to get that game. And Splinter Cell Blacklist. Oh my god. Um, this summer, I have to say, not so many movies that I want to see. Just two, basically. And no. Not The Hangover. No. No. I don't want to see that. 
it's annoying. Or the perch, it's so annoying with the commercials. Like, basically, I try to watch anything on YouTube, and those stupid commercials keep showing, that would show up all the time. At one point, I'm just like, shut up! I mean, normally, if that didn't happen, I would've been like, eh, whatever. I don't, I wouldn't care about the movie, but I would've been like, have been as angry about it as much. I'm not saying it's a bad movie, just it got annoying with the promos. And it's the same thing with other movies that they show, like The Hangover. I'm just like, I don't care. Would you stop telling me this? Just people talking about it all the time is annoying. I know. I hate things, I know. We all do. Um, but uh, that's the basis of this. Um, but if you're waiting for any cool things, leave a comment below something which things you're looking forward to, whether it's video games or something cool that's gonna happen to you, like your quinceanera or your sweet sixteen or your <laughs> whatever that may be. Uh so ah! uh potatoes, uh Shawn Michaels, uh Captain signing out. <laughs>